I'm Eric Ries. I am the author of the forthcoming book, The Lean Startup, and part of the Lean Startup movement. Very excited to be here in Grand Rapids. I had spent about 10 years as an entrepreneur, mostly failing and having then some success founding a company called Imview. And what happened was, at a certain point, I was being asked to give advice to other startups and to VCs and, and, and kind of be part of the Silicon Valley ecosystem. And what I discovered was that when I would describe my experiences of the kind of the crazy stuff we did at Imview, things like continuous deployment, bringing split testing into product development, building cross-functional teams rather than you know, departmental silos. Most people I talked to would just say, that could never work. And I would look confused and I'd say, but I'm not describing a theory, I'm just telling you what worked for me. And then they would be full of excuses. Well, sure that worked for you because you worked in consumer internet, but I'm in enterprise software. I make physical products. I work in a restaurant, you know. All these different questions, objections. Hey, does this tactic work here and there? And I felt like, what was needed to answer those questions in an intellectually rigorous way was to have a framework of some principles that could help us figure out in entrepreneurship what works where, what techniques work for me, not just what worked for you. How can I translate what's happening? And you know, started to write about that on my blog, Startup Lessons Learned. I started to talk to other entrepreneurs, other people who were writing about it, and you know, in the process, developed this theory called the Lean Startup that you know became the basis for this new movement. We call it the lean startup uh, by analogy to lean manufacturing. So we're trying to take ideas from lean manufacturing, like reducing cycle time, eliminating waste, driving down batch size, uh, and apply it to the process of innovation itself. Compared to the traditional way entrepreneurship is done, it's a lot more like driving a car than like launching a rocket ship. Instead of having to plan out every little detail and predict the future, we have a steering wheel that we call the build, measure, learn feedback loop that allows us to change direction uh, in small increments and eventually sometimes realize that it's time to do a thing called a pivot when our idea is invalidated. So overall, it's a much more scientific approach to making entrepreneurial decisions uh, than we've used in the past.